This story is from the Jungle Book. One day, when Bagheera the painter was walking through the woods, he found a man baby. Not knowing what to do with him, Bagheera decided to carry the baby to his friends, the wolf. The wolf raised the baby as their own. They named him Mowgli. Mowgli learned to take care of himself in the jungle, but Bagheera the painter always nearby. He was ever ready to protect little Mowgli. Mowgli grew up and beloved by all the animals of the jungle. The elephants became his friends, the zebras became his friends, even the little raccoons loved to be around Mowgli. One of Mowgli's best friends was a jungle bear named Balu. Balu was always happy and he and Mowgli shared many splendid time together. Balu and Mowgli could usually be found swimming in the river. While Balu floated on his back, Mowgli rode behind and dried on the bear's fat tummy. But not everyone in the jungle was Mowgli's friend. Shere the tiger had humans, so he was determined to kill that man cub Mowgli before he had the chance to become a man. Shere was only waiting for opportunity. The leader of the wolf pack knew how dangerous Shere was, so he decided there was only one way to keep Mowgli safe. The boy must be taken to the main village, he said. Bagheera agreed to take him there. Mowgli thought that he and Bagheera were on just another walk in the jungle. But when Bagheera told him where they were really going, Mowgli cried. No, I want to stay in the jungle. Bagheera tried to convince him, but Mowgli would not listen to Bagheera, and he ran into the jungle alone. Suddenly, Mowgli was whisked up into the treetops. A band of monkeys had reached down from an overhanging limb and grabbed him. The monkeys took Mowgli to the ruins of an ancient temple. There, the king of monkeys was eating bananas. He was waiting anxiously to see the captive. Tell me the secret of man's red fire, the monkey king said. But Mowgli didn't know how to make a fire. He could not tell the king the secret even though his very life depended on it. The monkey king was starting to get angry with Mowgli. But fortunately, Bagheera arrived just in time to pick Mowgli up and run away. The monkeys chased after them but Mowgli and Bagheera managed to escape. Bagheera warned Mowgli that there would be greater danger in the jungle. Once again, Bagheera insisted that Mowgli should go with him to the main village. No, no, Mowgli cried. I do not want to go to the main village. And without another word, Mowgli disappeared deep into the jungle again. It was only a matter of minutes before Mowgli found himself face to face with a huge tiger. It was Shehan. Finally, he had found Mowgli all by himself. This was his chance. Shehan bared his great fangs and leaped. But Shehan landed just a few inches away from Mowgli. What happened? Balu had grabbed the tiger's tail. The big bear had gotten there just in the nick of time. When Shehan could not reach Balu with his fangs, he tried to shake him loose. Shehan was cracking his tail like a whip trying to get loose. Suddenly, a storm came up. A lightning ball flashed down and set a nearby tree afire. Mowgli thought of a way to save Balu, so he took burning branch in his hand and ran toward the tiger. The fire frightened Shehan so much that he took off like a rocket. We will never see him again, said Bahira, who had just arrived. Mowgli, Bahira, and Balu promised that they would never be part by anything again. And then Mowgli saw something he had never seen before. A girl, she was collecting water by a stream just outside the main village. Mowgli decided to go to her and help her pick up the water jug. Bahira and Balu were disappointed. But they were unhappy only for a short while because they realized that Mowgli was doing the right thing. They saw him smile when he picked up the water jug. And they saw him walking alongside the girl back to the main village where he turned and waved goodbye to them. 
Mowgli friends knew that this was where Mowgli truly belonged. Without planning to, they had brought him safely to his new home at last. The end.